The water we drink today is the same water enjoyed by dinosaurs a long time ago. This is because the water cycle helps keep water going round and round. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and the water cycle with some demos. You're familiar with this picture of the water cycle. Water moves around and around and is constantly moving. In order to help you understand and remember the hydrologic cycle, also called the water cycle, I will show you a quick demo for these nine steps. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation, transpiration, infiltration, groundwater, aquifer, runoff, and accumulation. So let's start with evaporation. Evaporation occurs when a liquid turns to gas. With this glass of water and the heat from the lamp, evaporation is occurring. The problem is you can't see the evaporation. Now if I take hot water and pour it in the bottle, the water vapor will cool and you'll have condensation. You can see the condensation on the sides of the bottle. This occurs in real life when evaporation cools and attaches to small particles in the atmosphere and clouds may form. When you get enough condensation, some of the liquid will fall, as you can see, falling off the sides of the bottle. In real life, this can be rain or snow or many other forms. Next, transpiration is when plants release water vapor. You can see the water vapor on the sides of the bottle. This vapor comes from the leaves and the stems of the plant when it releases this. Plants do not use all the water that it absorbs from its roots and it releases some in the form of vapor. Next, infiltration is when water moves down through rocks and sand, etc. You can see the water infiltrate through these rocks. This water that moves into the ground is called groundwater. Much of this groundwater will move into an aquifer, which is represented by the sponge. Think of an aquifer as a huge sponge made of rocks. Remember, some aquifers, like the one in Florida, is as large as the entire state. The ground will not absorb all of the precipitation, and some will run off like this pan that is filled with rocks and soil. This is called runoff, and sometimes it leads to flooding. This runoff may end up in a lake or an ocean, which are examples of accumulation. Remember, during the water cycle, it does not go in a nice circle, but moves in many different directions over and over again. If you'd like to know more about the water cycle, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching. And Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.